Come on, come. Come on, come. Come on. Come Welcome back, folks, for our next okay. goat kidding episode. It everything turns to Fluffy Buffy. Fluffy is our largest goat. She's the one that's probably going to have the most kids. But until we get them out, we won't know. So here she is on the security camera sped up and you can see just about how active those kids were overnight the night before. So this was our first sort of challenge. Our first two deliveries, two sets of twins, all went relatively smoothly. This one took a little bit more head scratching. I'm sick of Rosa? Rosa, can you see the balloon? We've got the, uh, this is the little auditorium here. That's the balloon, that's got a baby goat in it. So the big question is how many? It's quite arty with the sunshine coming through. It's like a little stained glass window. I think the award, yeah, the award for the most chilled out pregnancy. Good girl, good girl, you can do it. That's a good. Oh my goodness, that hasn't even popped. Let's get the brain off it quick. Oh, that took a while, how oh, yellow it is. Oh, okay. Is that the one that was hanging up? No. Yes. Yeah. Here, yeah, yeah, sorry. <laughs> Where is the baby goat's being caught? Poor. <laughs> you can see it that There's way. One There's one out. There's one out, yeah. And there's a second one coming. <laughs> Good girl, Fluffy. <laughs> Oh, there may be one more, yeah. Well, this one's quite a big one. So it might be that she's had two. Good girl. One. I can only see one hoof. Anyone else? I can't see any. I just can't. Like, there might be one, but it's just underneath. Oh my goodness, there's another one coming out. One foot only. That is definitely only one foot, okay, Jay? <laughs> Still might come out, but it could. So I'll explain a little bit about what's going on here. Of course, the second kid is coming out. There's about half a dozen different ways that a kid or a lamb can be presented. And this is one of those not ideal ways. Ideally, you want those two front feet coming out and the nose at the same time. Now, in this case, one foot's coming through and the other one is not visible so it's coming out a little bit like superman now ideally what you want to do is get that back in and then hook the foot through and then you can get it out how it should be in this case the head's come through it's a big kid and it's becoming very difficult to get that other foot through and simply because fluffy seemed to be able to do it she was actually pushing and the kid was coming further and further through with one foot forward and that was the only option the black spot is red. How did what happened then? 
Is it got a dislocated arm or? <laughs> We'll see when it stands up. I think she just gave an almighty push and I managed to get my finger under so it didn't like catch its shoulder. It's quite mm. streamlined. Well done, Fluffy so and Daddy. It's a big kid though, isn't it? It's huge. Look at the size of it compared to the little one. So it's the size. Good girl. So if there's three in here, which is highly possible. Twice as fat. It's going to need to come out. That one can't Maybe, maybe it's only two. Oh. Oh. That's quick. Oh. Oh. That's because she's just had the big one. Okay, I know. Another one, Rosa. Okay. A little runt. <laughs> They, were probably, they might have been sharing the centre. The other one was... Yeah. Oh gosh, I have no idea. If that's a boy, that's a monster. Oh, is that, uh, can you move her off that lamp? Or maybe turn the lamp off for a bit? Yes, this is what's top left. He is massive. He's a boy. Flipping out. If he didn't have a spot on him, he'd be a keeper. But really, why is this spot bad? Because it's 10 centimetres square perhaps, so that will end up too big. I don't know. Let's see. I hope there is. He's going to need um, a jab. Why? Because we were in there and she was rubbing against concrete. <laughs> Could I have a fresh stir faith? <laughs> Before I check. I think that is the answer for her size rather than four. Alright, that was a bit more of an ordeal, that one. Uh, Fluffy, Buffy did have three. An absolute monster and an absolute runty for one, so I hope that's going to be alright. The main worry at the moment is last night's two are really not feeding and she's not particularly maternal. Also, doesn't help that Fluffy Buffy just stood on the little one's ear. your tongue in. You're okay. So nice little girl there. I mean, he looks like he's a week old, that one. Massive. So he will just check once he's up and about, but his uh, right leg was back, but still came out. Be known. I didn't quite manage to shower, but I've got clean clothes on. It is, uh, it's pretty cold. So we did have a little look on the webcam to see what was going on. Nothing was happening here, but the main pro priority is to get these triplets feeding. <laughs> Big boy's up on his feet, but that little one doesn't look as strong as that. I think everything's all right over here. But, you know, we're, we're minus three tonight, so <laughs> I'm hoping they just get a good feed. Right, I'm going to get my waterproof trousers on this time, so I don't wreck another pair. And then we'll have a go at see if we can get that one feeding. Right, I need to get a new camera battery, put the kettle on. And I need to give a jab 
of antibiotics to Fluffy. Oh, I sting. Have you not had anything yet? Right. <coughs> He's too tall and she's too low. You've got to go on your knees, buddy. <laughs> Well, I won't lie, this has been a tough two hours. No new arrivals, just getting them feeding. And it's not that easy. Um, it's also due to be minus three, minus four tonight. And while they don't all need heat lamps, they definitely need a full belly before they go to sleep to see the night through. And I'm just not convinced that that's the case with these with three yet. Um, I'll let her lie down for a bit, but when she gets up, I'm going to have to try again. I've been lying down in there for about an hour trying to get them to latch on. <sighs> it almost doesn't seem possible that they can manage overnight without a heat lamp, but I've just been chatting with Heber, who is the breeder. He's got a load kidding today as well, because they were in the same group, and he doesn't have any heat lamps for his, and he's way up north from here, so... Um, as long he said, as long as they've fed well, then they'll be absolutely fine. So these three haven't fed yet. So the one heat lamp I have got, I put in that corner, but it's only in one pen, and it's not really powerful enough to sit over two. Well, they seem to be fine. Finally, I've got the big one to feed. The little one is absolutely fine. You can tell when he gets it because his tail suddenly goes. I had to basically spend time teaching him to keep his legs bent because otherwise he's about this high. He doesn't make contact. So the little runt over here is actually a really good feeder. So I'm giving her a feed and then putting her back in the warm corner. Which isn't that warm considering how cold it is in here. So it's only that little doling there that needs a proper feed. And then I think I'd be more comfortable leaving them for the night. If there's any left that is. And the only other thing I need to do this evening before I go is to give her a jab of antibiotics. Simply because I had to intervene, I had to go in there. And I should have done it already, but I can't, um, <laughs> can't bring myself to do it. I've given her um, some Metacam, but that's just an under the skin one. I've done that a few times and the vet showed me. And I, I know what I need to be doing for the intermuscular. But you kind of have to go in this triangle here in the neck. And uh, I did go for it at one point uh, and then I got a horn in the face and I should have just carried on and done it but I thought oh I'll give her a rest and now I can't I need to psych myself up again I'm not sure I can do anything more I'm going to go home and get some sleep and then come back in I don't know three or four hours I'm a nervous Nelly uh, don't really want to lose any. Shh. Have they had enough? Have they haven't had enough? What they're meant to have? Something like a tenth of their body weight.
Right, the owls are kicking off. I think there's a lamb stuck in the hedge. And look at that full moon. Oh, I slept through my second alarm, so I haven't been out in about four hours. <laughs> Let's see what's going on. It's so cold. Morning, everyone. Cockles are going to kick off. Those three are okay. Those two are okay. For the time being, everyone's okay. I'm going up to the field to see what that sheep is crying out for. I'm guessing it's stuck in brambles. 